Sunday, January 22nd, 2023. Started by listening to episode four of the musical audio drama in Strange Woods. I've got used to that side of it a lot more. Chapter four, as I said, the man I remember. Um, let's have a look. A trip to Boston sheds light on Howell's past, bringing even more questions. Is a... Yeah, this is interesting. They were looking into the past of one of the main characters and went to find out, you know, good, good, good to it. they went to his sister there and found out something about the, the guy's history. Um, the songs were great. I mean, especially the title song the, of the episode, The Man I Remember. I mean, that's when that keeps coming up with different lyrics here and there, you know, to push the uh, the narrative, it works wonderfully. And it's a great piece of music performed well. Da, 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 Stu World Order. Uh, Stu was joined by Chris from Recent Activity Podcast to look at the film X-Men Days of Future Past. <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, you know, this is one of the uh, X-Men films that are, you know, a bit uh, on the better side. Um, admittedly, there's certain things about it that, you know, it doesn't follow the 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 original story from the comics or the uh, fantastic uh, X-Men animated series from the 90s. I mean, that. The, the story in there was fantastic through there. I, I wonder if they uh, know about the alternative version of the film, which I've got on DVD, which is called The Rogue Cut. And it's got Rogue as a main character in the in the film instead and has a lot more to do. And it's there's a lot in the future there. And it sort of like changes the perspective of it. And it's uh, interesting. Um, I, I love that somebody, you know, they're on about, uh, they got carried away with it all and they went to, uh, you know, the, um, what is it, the future of the MCU in the series and films and whatever, you know, and saying, you know, and uh, there's a famous bit about uh, WandaVision. There was a character that, you know, they, everyone thought, oh, oh, it's this, the character, this, that and the other, and, you know, because it was a certain person that was cast as the character. So uh, for those that know, the joke that... Um, someone came up with i think it was chris was uh the boner will rise again and that was just hilarious especially considering uh vintage rock doo -doo -doo -doo. yeah vintage rock pod uh great uh snippet of a chat that paul had with the songwriter uh mitch mitchell who wrote the song how do you do it uh originally that was well, the Beatles tried to record it, you know, as suggested by George Martin. And um, and both the Beatles didn't like how it turned out. They didn't like the song at all, actually. They thought it was a bit cheesy, I suppose. I don't know. I mean, it's a decent song. Um, and it ended up... Um, and Mitch Mitchell could turn it down as well, apparently. So they both had the ability, and they both did. Mitch Mitchell didn't like their version and thought it was a bit... Uh, almost like they were taking the, the mickey out of it and weren't taking it seriously. Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't think it's that bad. Uh, but as it turned out, you know, the Jerry and the Pacemakers version was better. He's, he's correct with that, and he liked that version, and that is a much better version that fits it. Um, audio drama Bridgewater, uh, which is from... I Art Radio and Grim and Mild Productions, so it's produced by, you know, Aaron Mankey and quite a few others, and written and directed by Lauren Shippen, who created the Bright Sessions and a few other things, and I've got a couple of her books as well. Um, chapter One, Remnants. Uh, yeah, there's, the cast is fabulous. It's got some of the people from, you know, the atypical artist uh, shows, like um, I Swear I Can Hear... Uh, Brig and Snow in there and a couple of others. I mean, I think they've got the person who played Dr. Bright. I can't pronounce her name. Uh, but also on top of that, you've got Misha, Misha Collins, the actor. Will Wheaton plays the father of... Uh, does he? No, he plays the sheriff, Will Wheaton does. And Nathan Fillion plays the father character that was lost in 1980 or thereabouts. So it's about a missing person's... Uh, thing and uh very uh there's a lot of you know strange things going on in you know in there uh what else was there that jumped out 
got back to listening to some face the music got behind on those and they are releasing the extended versions of episodes or some of them uh cracking episode for loser gone wild uh changing time signatures yeah the song's got to... it's a weird song loser gone wild there's bits that i like i like all of it really but it's just disjointed as a song i think and uh I loved the uh, Don Fields uh, when they went to his bit and he's in his sort of like says that now at that period of time, because it's the secret messages album that that song's from. And it's a case of he, he says he's got this game that's called Where's Bev. So it's, you know, um, the drummer doesn't always appear. There's some drum machine work. And sometimes uh, Jeff Lynn plays drums as well, apparently. Um but so that's quite a funny game, really. Uh, when there was fab, um, I mean, you know, I might as well enjoy it while I can with the music by Jay Young Kim, the the music that's been there for a couple of years, because apparently that's go, going to be changed. It probably has already, because this is a December nineteenth, twenty twenty two episode. Um, and this episode they were looking at the sixth disc of the the. Uh, Oh, uh, what is it? The uh, Lord Wreath um, uh, set, a set of, you know, recordings that he got hold of with uh, BBC and other radio station, you know, recordings. Uh, so it's more thorough than the, and got more on it than the, you know, the officially released. Uh, things we said today, they were talking about great songs that uh, the Beatles gave away, you know, like... Um, they gave songs to, you know, Diana Krall, uh, Rod Stewart, um, Eric Clapton. I'm glad that Alan Poole, you know, suggested the song Room So Far by Eric Clapton, because that's a great song, which was before uh, George's version and was in, uh, written for Eric. Uh, Blood on the Tracks, that's a uh, dramatised uh about what is it? This this first season was about Phil Spector. There's four or five seasons actually, so I'm behind. And it's interesting now you listen to these things, then you suddenly find things out without realizing. I did not know that the song Play with Fire by the Rolling Stones has Phil Spector on bass guitar, which is fantastic. Um uh, what else we got? Um uh, Fascinating, uh, everything everywhere daily episode from July the sixth, twenty twenty. There's a link between the the um, vegetable broccoli and James Bond because the producer Albert Cubby Broccoli is actually from the family that basically brought broccoli into you know people's knowledge because it was it's like a made up uh vegetable apparently but so that was fascinating um i was gonna say oh flipping out carissa with the uh, beauty unlocked uh bonus episode from november 22nd 2022 something a new trend that is ridiculously stupid um i don't really know how to explain it but you know women use um should we say fluid from somewhere and place it into places on the body to you know try and attract men and it's like uh, yeah all right yeah we'll leave it at that and um and then Kristen with holidays after dark um that explored the history of the fourth of july and it's interesting because there was another episode of something else where they were talking about the fourth of july and it's not actually independence day as such but it's celebrated as that and it's a fascinating history Monday, January 23rd, 2023. Uh, started with the Jerry Anderson podcast, as I often do now on a Monday, on the way, way into work and then the first bit of work. Um, oh, I, I loved that. What was it? Uh, J- Jamie explained the show as 90% filler and 10% thriller. That, that was funny. And uh, the fab fact was something that linked... Um, the Jerry Anderson universe of shows with the New York uh, World's Fair of 1964 
and something that was called Futurama 2. So, um, uh, happy birthday this week to Jamie's mum, who he calls Mummy A, and to Richard soon as well, because it's his birthday soon. Um, fascinating that there's a scale electric Fab 1 that's come out, which is great. Uh, also, they're looking, they're hoping to do a Thunderbird 5 for Corgi, and they want people to contact. Uh, but oh, and also, people. They, they the show want people to contact if you have any Anderson related cake designs or pie designs, uh, hence the uh, the sign off at the end of good good pie. Um, fascinating um, January twenty third twenty twenty three episode of Good Morning Podcasters where Fuzz was talking about picking colours because Fuzz has a uh, uh, colour blindness. Or variant of color blindness, and he's explaining how color color of your artwork for shows uh, is important and things like that. Um, what was it this week in Marvel? Uh, during that, they mentioned about you know the you know tickets are available for Ant Man and the Wasp: Quantumania at the cinema. Me and Lu I've booked mine and Louise's. Um, surprisingly, uh, I couldn't believe it that so where we've moved to. It's eight pounds more each for a ticket than it is where we lived before. So we're actually going to have a night, have a day out where we used to live, and we're going to see it there. Um, what else is there that jumped out? There were a lot of things that jumped out in that show. If, if you're into, if you're into Marvel, I mean, I know it's uh, authorized by Marvel, but it's a great show with great presenters and it's really well put together and has great information with great, you know, interviews such as this one that interviews with the props managers of Chuck Costas and uh, Brian Crosby who are in charge of all the, uh, taking care of all the props for all of the Marvel Cinematic Universe shows and films. Um, face the Music, listen to another episode of that. This time they were talking about the song Secret Messages itself. Uh, a song that I absolutely love, but I agree with their uh, suggestion that what would make the song that much more, you know, oomph would be real drumming by Bev, Bevan throughout the song, as opposed to most of it being drum machine or very one, two, one, two, one, two, almost. Um uh, listen to an episode of the podcasting sucks variant of God Mo Good Morning Podcasters with Fuzz and Jeff. Um, called us zombies, but we have brought pod boxes back from the dead. Yeah, and basically it's just explaining who they are and what the show is all about because it was the first one. So I've listened to all the short ones and now I'm listening to the bit longer episodes that are called Podcasting Sucks that are weekly. Um, uh, feedback with earbuds was all about history shows, mainly about women in history. Uh, well worth listening to that one if you're into history and want to, you know, uh, check out women in history and their importance. That one is, oh God, I haven't put the date on there. January, 2023, Sunday, uh, was it the seventh or somewhere around there? Uh, bucket list careers. Great chat with Cindy Olsen who went from uh, being successful in entertainment finance uh, and then decided when she was pregnant that she'd re-evaluated and realised that she needed to do something else. And even despite the drop in money that she'd make, it was more important to her as a person. So she's become a mindful outdoor guide, as it's called, and the founder of a company called Cindy by Nature. Uh Matt Gillooly, he chatted with his friend Shana Benson. They've known each other since high school. Uh, and they were talking about her business as a baker and owner of the No Regrets Dessert Company. On the Night Train, episode 15. Um, oh, yes. Something really interesting happens there where, you know, they are discovered. The family are discovered even though they are undercover. Yep. Yeah. Well, the mother is. The children aren't haven't been discovered yet uh, by you know 
the, the person in charge of the thing. Um, Bridgewater, episode two, An Untamed Place. Jeremy, yeah, that was interesting. You go even more into detail and the character of Jeremy, the son, who lost his father, you know, 40-some years ago. Um, he's talked to the person who was his his father's partner in the police and they're looking at um, these strange things that go on. Uh, do, 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 do. Vintage Rock Pod, Paul look, chatted with Martin Popoff about the fantastic debut album by the band Skid Row, the American rock band that came out in 1989. Great album. Uh, I think the follow-up's fantastic as well, personally. Um, slave to the Grind. Um, slow down. And then I listen to the final episode of in strange woods the audio drama musical uh and somebody surprising uh, uh you know something happens to them and um yeah he was a really good uh unexpected but great ending to the show it wasn't one that was like a bit of a you know oh that's how it's ended it really was a great ending Tuesday, January the 24th. Um, so day off, but, you know, so where do the pod files fit in with a day off? The pod files fit in with a day off because, you know, I'm organising, uh, setting things up. Um, I'd already, during the couple of days up to that, um, before that, I'd already... Uh, put together the or finished with the edit of the episode with Alan uh, Cozin for the first episode of Pods Like Us that will come on February the 20th, no, February the 5th, flipping out Martin. Um, that's up on Patreon for anyone who's a patron on there to listen to. Uh, so it's got the in, in and out, it's got the music on there for the top and bottom and the interviews there. Uh, and it's a bloody long episode, I'll be honest. And from there, we, uh, that's there. Uh, what else? Um, yep, caught up with Ed and Kit for the Top of Most of the Pop of Most podcast that we all do together. Um, we had a chat online and, um, yeah, discuss what we're talking about and some other things as well. We've picked up on a few bits. Um, Shout out to uh, Al Sussman about uh, some things that he picked up on, and one that we've um, we've um, yeah we've mentioned in the the episode that follows the the one for February of nineteen sixty three, the one that's about that, um, and yeah, it was fun. It was only supposed to be about half an hour, but we ended up being. Part 50 minutes to an hour maybe um and then i ended up going to bed at half past one at night and going to sleep at about half past two in that case and um, got up at six o'clock this morning so i'm a bit tired but there you go uh and i'm really looking forward to recording tonight and i will explain that because i'm recording this on the wednesday I will explain that on the next episode that's coming soon. Thank you, everyone. Take care.